Wonder what this could be. Oh boy. Silver fans, this is T, and you're in the place to be for silver and numismatic education, acquisition, and entertainment. Hey, this one is a little awkward for me. I am at my kitchen table right here, and this video is unlike any you've ever seen before on my channel. What you see before you here is a couple of boxes, and uh, basically this is a coin collection that was given to me to look through by a friend of mine. Uh, her and her son uh, inherited this from her father or grandfather. And uh, I, they asked me, they know I'm into coins, they know I love coins. Uh, and they asked me, hey, take a look at this and tell us what we have here. And so this video here is going to be basically a collaboration between me and you, the viewer, uh, I am going to ask you, I, uh, you know, I love my silver stacking, I'm into coin collecting, but I'm not an expert in any way, shape, or form. I'm going to do my very best to uh, give my interpretation of what is in these boxes, uh, and then, but I'm really depending on you, the viewer, to help me to help my friend, because uh, I really I don't know what's in here. We're going to find out together, and some of it I might be familiar with, some of it not so much. We'll see. I don't know. Either way, keep watching. Let's open these boxes. Okay, here we go. Box number one. Uh, let's see what's in here. I'll show you what I got. Again, uh, this belonged to either A, her father, or it's kind of heavy, uh, B, her grandfather, or perhaps both. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, well, you know he was enough of a coin collector to have a red book. So there we go. There's the old red book. And wow, this looks kind of old. Coin collecting Boy Scouts of America Merit Badge Series. Okay. And okay, here is our first little book. Uh, Lincoln Sense. 1940, starting in 1941, number two. Let me, actually, I'm going to move this one out of the way here. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got here. Anyway, Lincoln sent, uh, let's see. And as to be expected, like most of these books, uh, there are some holes filled and lots that aren't. And there you go. You've got the old uh, steel pennies from uh, World War II there. And, and then somebody even added in by hand all the way up to 1975. So <laughs> I'll have to look uh, through there and see which are the rare dates and um, go from there. And here we go. Lincoln Sons. Here's another one. Oh, starting 1975. So there we have the continuation all the way through, some cents missing, and there you go. So uh, you guys, uh, like I said, I don't have the rare dates memorized off the top of my head, but typically at my uh, coin club meetings, uh, things like that uh, uh, get auctioned off every month uh, for uh, very little money. And there you go. Another one very similar. More Lincoln cents. Uh, well, this one's heavier. 1999 to 2008. You've got the Washington quarters. Wow. So, 50 state quarters. And there they are. Arranged so that you can see the states there. And uh, all the information. It's uh, a little on the heavier side here. But a lot of people got into coin collecting and rekindled an interest. Oh, look at Hudson Coins. I've been there. Um, and uh, with that Washington Quarters uh, set there. And speaking of Washington Quarters, there you go, 1991 and onward. Uh, very nice book here. And 
and you can see you've got uh, some holes missing there others are filled in and uh, wow this one is even heavier now the silver stackers here are going to say oh 1932 you've got some actual silver there let's see what we got oh yeah we've got some chunk silver there constitutional 90 percent whatever you'd prefer to call it all the way up to 19 56 there so yeah a lot of money in uh, junk silver there all the way to 1964 and then uh, you know the wheels fell off there they stopped with the 90 percent at that point so uh, pretty nice find there as far as just the silver content alone again key dates don't have them memorized uh, these proof sets uh, you know I've seen these at uh, coin shops left and right uh, you know stuff like this although it looks kind of cool and some people collect it uh, again this is you know one of those things we're at my monthly coin club meeting uh, things like this um, you know nobody really wants them uh, it, you know if you collected them uh, and you got it shipped to you from the mint back in 2001 or 2000 you have it why do you need another one um, Let's take a quick look at what the set looks like. There you go. Um, so I'm not quite sure. I know I when I go to the coin shops, they have these things in spades. I'll tell you, they just have stacks and stacks of these uh, that uh, nobody really pays much attention to. But if, hey, if you guys watching out there uh, know if any of these dates are valuable in any way, shape, or form, yeah, there's 1969 looking pretty sharp there um, please let me know all right don't I wish these were gold eagles but these are uh, these must be the Sacagawea dollars so uh, kind of like my friend uh, G that I introduced you to a while back uh, let's see what are these wheat pennies yep wheat pennies and so, you know, I save those too. I collect those. Uh, 50 pennies. I don't know if those are pennies as well. Yeah, NES S. Okay. And let's see. What's in here? This is kind of intriguing. I've got a little tin here. All right. What is this? Oh, my goodness. Uh, he collected in 2008 he collected 208 wheat cents but these all look like the steel ones let me see what year 1943 yeah these are a man that's a boatload of those steel pennies and uh, when they needed the copper for the war they made the pennies out of steel so there you go a bunch of steel pennies 208 if well let me what the fuck with this? That is there we go okay another tin here I wonder what this could be oh boy what a, oh boy Okay, and my friend mentioned something about her being of uh, German descent, and there's a swastika, 1934, some sort of pin. Okay, oh boy, 19, well this is a quite the piece of history here, I'm not quite sure. Man, I, this is light. It feels, you know, super, super light, like a little piece of tin. So there's not any, uh, like, silver value or anything like that I'm seeing. But, man, talk about a bunch of Nazi pins. What is that? Like a child? Oh, 
Okay. All right, yeah, all this stuff from the 1930s. Uh, all right, guys, well, this is where I'm depending on you uh, for your help. Oh, boy. What is that all about? Um, if you know anything about this stuff, um, you know, everything has a certain amount of value. You know, there, there's something that somebody would buy. Uh, but, you know, some people might say, hey, you ought to go bury that in the backyard and eradicate it from the face of the earth. And I don't know. I don't know what she's going to do with these, to be honest with you. Uh, if any of you are uh, German and can interpret what these things say. Oh, this one's not German, that's for sure. Interesting. Man. All right, well, we went from coins to pins. This one's made out of plastic. This is like an early form of, is that Bakelite or something like that? I don't know. All right, 1937. This thing is heavy, heavy. There's a lot of these things in here. Um, I don't know what in the world. A lot of swastikas, that's for sure. And certainly telling a story through these pins. This one's a little heavier. I have no idea what these represented, who wore them. I assume they're military or I don't know if these are things that civilians might have worn. Daily is the one in 71. Hey, vote early, vote often. Back in 1971, that was the Chicago way. Uh, I Actually, I think it kind of still is. but. Enough of my editorials here. Uh, this doesn't, that's not Nazi. Oh, look at that. I don't know, what would you guys do if your grandfather left these to you? Uh, buttons and so forth. All right, yeah, boy. Okay, we're finally getting to some coins here. Nineteen hundred. Okay, so what? <laughs> hey, there you go. Look at that. Nineteen fifty-four. Twenty pesos from Mexico. I love it. And I've actually been uh, to that pyramid right there. I actually stood on top of it. That is the Temple of the Sun. And boy, oh boy, this. Uh, this video took a turn that I wasn't expecting. Uh, with, wow, look at that. That's kind of fancy. Huh. All right, guys. You got a whole smorgasbord here. Um, this big old thing rolling out. This is super light. Nineteen sixty four. I wonder if this is silver or what percentage of silver. Let me know if you guys see anything in there. Uh, this looks like a whole smorgasbord of common stuff like that and you name it. Wow. You know, imagine uh, the guys at the coin shops and uh, my friend Sherry must. See, all kinds of stuff like this. And a whole mixture and... Oh, oh boy. What is this? Nineteen seventy-one. Malaysia. Oh, here's some Mexico. A very low silver percentage in these, if I remember correctly. Like 10% or something. So, 
You guys see anything interesting? Just a whole lot of oops, stuff that was probably just accumulated over the years. And uh, here, look, we'll finish with that one that fell out. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Moving on, we've got some more uh, proof sets. A uh, little Italian coinage there. I don't think there's uh, much value there, but it's a curiosity. Uh, Numismatics 2007, another book. All right, this looks promising. Let's see what's in here. Hmm. 1930, let's see what is in this. Oh, wow, look at that. Bunch of Indian head scents. I'll uh, put the mintages up. Um, there we go. Oh, those are cool. I'll put the mintages up. 1949D. Wait a minute. That says 1949D. That's Sacagawea, so I don't know what happened there. All right, 1935 Buffalo Nickel. These look like some old packages. That's not a 1935 Buffalo Nickel. Who's messing around here? Maybe somebody got into his stuff and <laughs> mixed things up. Those yeah, Susan B. Anthony. Uh, let's see, 1919. Let's see what this is. Oh boy, that's not 1919, but that's a nice piece dollar, 1922. Is that the high relief version? Well, maybe not so nice, but it's a piece dollar. 1927. That's 1850. Huh, okay. Interesting. 1945 piece. So you've got all kinds of stuff mixed up here. That's not 1945. This one's 1842. That looks like 1885. Okay, we've got quite the mixture here. Bunch of buffalo nickels. And then some proof stuff. Oh, here's, this looks interesting. You guys see a, a half dollar? Let's see. You know what we do this? See what we got here. All right, that's 1971. Okay, big deal. 1973. A whole mixture here too. But look at this. You've got some barber halves. Boy, these things are so thin. Can't even hardly read the date there. See what this is. Oh, 1968 is it? 40% silver, foreign. There you go. You got all kinds of stuff in here. And proof. Let's see. 
1943 key and a flip. 1918, pretty worn out, Mercury Dime. 1916, look at that. 42 so quite the variety there let's see what else we got we're not quite done yet we've got what is this more Susan B Anthony got some pennies here you know Quarters here, the statehood quarters. All right, well, let's see what this is. And, you know, this box just keeps giving and giving. A bunch of dimes. So it looks to be a mixture of 90% and newer stuff. So you know, here's a 1946. Whole mixture of dimes there. And Quite a bunch more there. So those would have to be sorted through, but you've got some silver there. Uh, big Ike dollar. Wait a minute. All right. 1985 on that side. Can you see that? <laughs> And 1967 on this side. That looks like just some kind of trick quarter of some sort. So <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> Hopefully somebody wasn't duped in uh, buying that one. Man, it just kind of goes to show you never know what in the world you might find when you're looking through a guy's coins. Let's see what's in this last one. Couple of buffaloes. Let's see, do they have all, all four legs? Uh -huh. And they're not hobo nickels or anything like that. One box down. A uh, couple of surprises. A two-headed quarter. Um, yeah, that's empty. And uh, gosh, we still have. A whole box to go. All right, I adjusted my light. Uh, what the heck? Let's get right into it and see what the heck is in this one. Let me move this over here. Grab this over here. Oh, man, it's heavy. There we go. Hey, we won't mess around. Well, this one, whoa, Washington Quarters. 1999 to 2003, state commemoratives. Again, nice. Dance go holder here. Let's see. Put that over there. And let's see what this is. Washington Quarter, same thing. 04 to 08. All right, guys, you tell me. Uh, I, you know, I never did get caught up into uh, collecting these quarters. Uh, were there any that were more valuable than the other? Uh, okay, now here we're something a little, to me at least, a little more interesting. You've got Lincoln Sense, 1909. And a few holes filled in, but there's that. Lincoln Sense, 1941 on. This guy was a big penny guy, and he sure had plenty of steel pennies, that's for sure. So there's that. Lincoln Sense 1909. Let's see. Oh, the 1909 VDB, but the SVDB is not present. Okay. Roosevelt Dimes. 1946 
All right, got some junk silver here, constitutional. And there we go. Nice dime collection. And he had all the way up to uh, 2010. So, not bad. Lincoln Sense, this guy loved his pennies. All right. 1909 VDB. Not the SVDB, but another 1909, 1909, 1909S, not there. All right. But yeah, the man loved his pennies, that's for sure. Look at that. All right. All right, we're getting down to the end. Presidential dollars. Oh, yeah. My friend G, his mom had some of those. <laughs> what do we have? We have Washington, Adams, Jefferson, and that's it. There we go. And oh, let's see what's in here. This is cool. Everybody loves those Indian head scents. And according to my buddy Rich, there are some valuable ones out there. Let's see what we got here. Oh, quite a few. So according to this, 1856 through 1909, what's the lowest mintage? The 1908 S, just over a million, 1909 S, 300,009. No, not there. 1908S, no, not there. But quite a cool collection. Let's see, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Empty box there. And uh, I'll tell you what, <laughs> I didn't know what to expect. And it was pretty cool looking into uh, what this gentleman had collected uh, back in the day. Um, I, <laughs> I'm not quite sure of the approximate value. Uh, feel free to uh, give me your two cents as to what you think uh, something like this might, might be valued at. Um, I mean, all that uh, German Nazi memorabilia, I have no idea what to do with that or who would want it. Uh, well, it's not my problem. I'm going to give it back to her. Uh, she's going to ask me, hey, what do you think I should do with this? Uh, give me your advice down in uh, the comment section. I will pass that on. Uh, to my friend and her son. That was uh, quite a look into a uh, deceased coin collector's collection, a lifetime of collecting right before your eyes. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention. If you've made it all the way to this point in the video and you haven't done so already, please hit that like button. You see my hitchhiker son? There we go. Hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber, please be sure to subscribe. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Tee.